hello and welcome to our third tutorial and in this tutorial we are basically going to look at how to create a lookup wizard now just to explain what a lookup wizard is uh, it can be referred to as a data type but basically it's not a data type we use a lookup wizard in case we have a list of occurrences that we need to be picking from for instance when you look at our fields here we have district which has uh, repeated entries wakiso soroti and ginger so instead of typing in uh, that every other time we can create a lookup uh, wizard so that every time we are to enter anything under the field district we just pick from that list the same can be done on sex because it's just uh, being repeated so we are going to look at how to create a lookup wizard and here we are going to set our database we've been told to create a database called usuju gp limited and the instructions down here say in the database we create a table and save it as basic data we add the fields with their correct data types then populate the table with the data above but remember some of these fields our best our basic interest today is to assign them a lookup wizard as the data type so we are going to see we have already our database here good enough we now know how to create a database and in this database they have told us to create a table called basic data so we shall go and create a table and we shall give it a name basic data so that is our table and we are going to add the fields to this uh, table we've been told the first field is fisherman id fisherman id is the this is the first field uh, then we have name sex date of birth contact and district but remember we have said that uh, for the fields sex and district we want to make them lookup wizards we want to use a lookup wizard to populate those two fields so we go to our table remember we already know how to create a database how to assign auto numbers so we shall go and change the format of auto numbers to be able to display kls and then the rest will be three incrementing figures the next field is name a name automatically has to be text then we have then we have sex and we said sex is going to be a lookup wizard so we go lookup wizard and these are the various steps so we are going to type in our own values that we think are suited for this field we go to next then the fields are going i mean the values are going to be m for male and f for female uh, then we go to next then we shall limit database to only those two entries then we finish so we have created our lookup wizard now you can see that here the data type is not showing lookup wizard but rather it's showing text that's why we say that lookup wizard cannot is not necessarily a, a data type but it's simply a list of values that can help us to enter our values quickly without retyping everything every other time then the next field is date of birth date of birth and we already know how to set the format for date of birth of course we said date of birth is represented by d according to the data we have d which are two digits then we have m m for the month and then we have y y y y for the year then the next field is let me just check through the next field is contact and then finally district so we go to contact which is contact this time around is going to be show, uh, is going to be text uh, someone may uh, feel like choosing someone may feel like choosing or uh, what number but remember if you choose numbers then the first zero won't be able to uh, be typed remember 
here we did not choose the data type for date of birth it's supposed to be date or time uh, let's just check the format let's change the format which is t m m and yeah okay then the last field is district we also say that district is going to be a lookup wizard you're going to look up to a list of values and we are going to type in our values uh, the first value is we are seeing the districts are repeated so we are going to have wakiso then the next value is sorority then we have ginger So that is our list of values that we are going to be looking up to when we are entering data in this particular field. Uh, we go to next, then we limit to this list, and then we finish. So we have finished creating a table with the fields. Now we can go and view our table and try to enter data and see what is going to happen. So this is, remember we set this one to auto number, to auto increment, so we don't type in anything there. So let's go and enter the first uh, record in our table. We have Mokombozi Alex is a male born on 12th. We can uh, try to minimize this so that we enter concurrently so that we can be able to see both sides. So that we can be able to see the sides, I mean both sides. So uh, I also go and reduce this so we can enter while seeing the table. I'm just going to reduce this. Well, so now this is our, this is how we're going to enter now the data. So we have this table, which is our database. Now the first entry or the first record is Mokombozi Alex. So I go and enter Mokombozi Alex. The sex is now our list is right there, so it's a male. We now don't type in, but we just choose from the list. Date of birth is 12th of say, date of birth is 12th of December, I think, of December, 12th of uh, December. We go here and type in 12th of December, and the year is 19. Uh, the contact is 0772 uh, 110 then the district is we also choose from the list district is Wakiso so you can see our list here is having the districts we entered and uh, 6 here is having the districts i mean the the entries we made so that is how we create a lookup wizard and that was our target for today now the rest we just go on to add all the fields that we have in our table and then our task for today will be complete so let's go on and add all the fields uh, into the table the best the biggest thing that we've seen is how to add the fields i mean how to uh, create the lookup wizards. So we have created here a lookup wizard and we have also created here a lookup wizard. So it's just a matter of selecting or choosing from these uh, values that are existing and also choosing from these other values that are existing. So that is uh, the end of our tutorial today. Hope we have picked the point. Maybe let's just go and complete our table and enter all the uh, records so that we have our table complete. So we can see that we have now entered all our records into the table and here our table is complete. So that's the end of our story today. Thank you for listening and watching.